Hello guys, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So guys here in this session, I'll uh, talk about one interview question. So that I have already kept on my uh, YouTube channel also. And here I have taken the screenshot. So the question is pretty simple. Uh, but I have surprised here. Look at here like like overall like let's suppose this is 100%. Okay. So out of 100% now look at here. The correct answer only 11% of the people have given the correct answer 89% It means 89% means we can say close to 90% Right, so 90% of the people have given incorrect answer So this is what the problem guys that is why I always say it's like multiple uh, You all uh, are taking training from somewhere certain institutions and all right and uh, I'm not uh, saying anything about the institutions and faculties and all everybody are doing their best at trying their best to educate the candidates and all it's okay but here first of all whenever you have a look guys on the questions i will come on my channel itself right so look at here this is what the question which i have asked right so now here you you can click on anyone whichever you feel that this is the correct answer you have to click on that if you're going to click means your answer is going to be added here Right. So first of all, while clicking there, first of all, you try to understand the question, right? And then see what is the logic behind like selecting this answer or this answer or this answer or this answer, right? First of all, look at the question. The question is a vendor is also a customer, right? The payment program has to clear the open items, right? Which setting has to be maintained in both master data records first of all you'll be able to understand this question only if you have a perfect idea about this topic if it is covered by your faculty and i think mostly or most likely it has been covered by faculties and all right but the problem is if you talk about any topic here you guys know very well about the configuration part right but when you talk about the logic and all logically most of the candidates are pretty weak Right configurations. We know all uh, the configuration steps. You know very well, but first of all when you do the configurations, right? There will be somewhere certain impacts are going to happen those impacts you guys don't know, right? Um, it means most of the candidate I'm talking about those impact most of the people they don't know and if you don't know the impact and all then of course It's very very difficult to uh, Understand the questions and all. logic itself is, is like you guys are not able to understand then how you're going to understand the question Okay, so this is a very simple question guys and of course some of you might be knowing this right so here Okay, so I'll just give a very brief explanations and then I'll come back on the answer Okay, so now here now I know this question like whatever the question is there uh, some of you might be knowing this that okay what is this question all about and even you might be knowing answer also but there are lots of people uh, still there having confusions right so this explanation is th for those people because there are several people who is having confusions and all that what is this and what exactly you know this question is all about so now here this is pretty simple guys I'll tell you now let's suppose there is say for example so when I in my classes I quote the example of Tata motor, right? So now here what I'll do okay. So Tata motor, right now what is happening there is a Entity or organization called ABC limited okay. This ABC limited Now so what is happening guys Tata motor but this Tata Motor ABC Limited is a customer also and vendor also. I'm just writing and typing in shortcut, guys. So don't look at the spellings. Okay. So this ABC Limited for Tata Motor, this ABC Limited is customer also and vendor also. It means this ABC Limited is buying the end product of Tata Motor. At the same time, Tata Motor is also buying certain raw material from ABC Limited. Okay, so say for example, now say for example, Tata Motor, in the sense this ABC Limited has bought, okay, 
an item worth of 4000 okay don't go in the product and all and don't assume that how come the vehicle is going to cost 4000 i'm just quoting an example okay so a simple example so abc limited has bought an item worth of 4000 from tata motor it means tata motor has sold this 4000 was worth of goods to abc limited so for tata motor abc limited as a customer right as a customer abc limited had purchased 4000 worth of okay now this abc limited had sold a goods worth of 2000 to tata motor in that case in this case abc limited is treated as a vendor right when abc limited is going to buy the goods from tata motor then this abc limited is a customer for tata motor when abc limited is selling the goods to the tata motor it means abc limited is treated as a vendor to the tata motor right so now here it means now if you talk about tata motor perspective then here what is happening guys tata motor has sold a goods worth of 4000 rupees whereas tata motor has purchased a goods worth of 2000 rupees from where abc limited right so when you talk about the settlement of settlement of payment right so now abc limited is going to pay how much 2000 to the tata motor this is what the thing is abc limited is going to pay only 2000 to the tata motor now here so what is the problem here the problem is here the problem is now tata motor motor has received a payment worth of 2000 rupees 2000 rupees why abc limited has paid only 2000 because abc limited has purchased a goods worth of 4000 and at the same time abc limited has sold goods worth of 2000 so purchase it means total liability in the sense abc limited is supposed to pay 4000 rupees to tata motor but at the same time 2000 worth of goods they have sold so they are expecting some the receivable in the sense they are expecting certain amount from tata motor also and how much worth of like that is 2000 right so whatever they are going to receive from tata, tata motor that they have minus from this 4000 rupees and whatever surplus amount is there that is going to be paid to the tata motor and that they have paid now it's okay so whatever liability is there of abc limited like in their books of account they have cleared now what about this tata motor they also have to clear their books of account now what is the challenge the challenge is tata motor is having an open item worth of 4000 that took customer open item an open item worth of 2000 and that too is a vendor open item right so they have received a payment worth of 2000 only with this one single this this one single like uh, what do you say this this payment of 2000 they have to clear two different open item customer also and vendor also right so first of all so what is happening guys so this is what the question is right so how come it possible how it is going to be done isn't it so now for this one certain settings are supposed to be done not setting in the sense i'm not saying configuration guys we have to make certain changes where in master data right so abc limited is going to be set up as a customer master also and vendor master also right abc limited is already set up as a customer master and vendor master now here what is happening guys so now what you have to do so this customer account and vendor account both are supposed to be linked I think practically if I am going to explain then it is going to be very simple to understand guys but the video is going to be very lengthy right in lengthy in the sense like length will be more so just I'm just explaining because uh, in shortcut itself okay those who has already like I, I know like this is a very famous topic so most of the institutions are covering in their classes and all and since if you're watching this video then most of the people have already taken training or whether you have taken training from somewhere or you might have gone through certain tutorials and also i'm expecting that you guys will be having idea about these things so theoretically if i'm explaining it's it's going to click uh, to lots of people right so there'll be a topic called if the customer is also a vendor or vice versa you can say right so now here what is happening guys so this 2000 with the help of this this 2000 now this customer open item and vendor open item do both are supposed to be clear right so for that what we have to do for that first of all certain settings 
first of all you have to link this customer account with the vendor and vice versa and apart from this for clearing what is happening there will be two check boxes right clearing with customer account and clearing with vendor account you have to apply a check mark on those those two things right and then what is happening then if you post the payment then what is happening both open items are going to be cleared isn't it this is what the simple things this is what the simple things now i'll come back on the question here what is the question a vendor is also a customer right payment program okay the payment program has to clear the open items right whether you make manual payment or automatic payment that doesn't matter so now let's suppose so now what is happening guys if we have received the payment or or you have made the payment whatever it is in both cases what is happening guys the both this open items whatever the open items are there these both items are supposed to be cleared with this amount right so if if that is the case then what is happening guys now here so the question is which setting has to be maintained in both master data records right in the sense customer master and vendor master what we have to do what i said guys you have to link customer account with vendor account and vendor account with customer account the simple answer is the account link you have to link customer with vendor vendor with customer right after that the check boxes are there so it's just, that is the second even that is the second one but here that option is not there it's okay so here at least the account link in the sense customer with vendor vendor with customer both accounts are supposed to be linked right simple answer is there look at here 50 percent of the people have specified alternative payer and pay right again there are lots of people the same bank details earlier how come this bank details are going to be uh, you know helpful here in this isn't it how the bank details are going to help to clear the open items and all isn't it that is irrelevant even like the same payment method also this, these all are irrelevant in the sense 90 percent of the people have given irrelevant answer right and that is the logic when i say like 90 percent of the people are unable to settle down their career in this field that is the reason because people are coming with the basic knowledge basic knowledge right so basic knowledge is not going to help you to crack the interviews guys whatever things you guys are going to study whichever topics you guys are learning you're studying you're doing the configurations or and all whether by watching the videos or by taking the training from subway right so try to understand the logic behind that i said like we have to link customer with vendor vendor with customer again the next question will be what is the impact right if you link both the account what is the impact isn't it so that's what you have to think that's what at this level you have to think that if you are going to link where is the immediate where is the immediate impact after linking this this things and all i'll try to uh, what do you say uh, record another video on this one where like practically i'll show what is the impact and all because again as i said like the video is going to be lengthy right so here simply i just came online to i, I just recorded uh, this video because of this question and all and i was very much surprised that uh, how come at least like if 50 percent of the people are going to give correct answer right that's uh, that's fine but here hardly 11 percent means 89 percent of the people have given wrong answer right so that is pretty bad guys right so anyway so correct answer is account link we have to link the customer with vendor and vendor with customer right that is the correct answer so that's all in this session guys and uh, stay tuned with me subscribe this channel guys and here i'll try to record you know uh, multiple videos the problem is like uh, timing is the major issues right since lots of work are there even uh, like uh, i'm having a live classes also right so now this video is getting recorded at uh, night one o'clock okay so it's okay no issues now likewise uh, multiple uh, questions are going to be posted right so whenever you guys are going to answer first of all read out the questions right read out the questions carefully and see what exactly i have asked anyway that is for your benefit itself whatever i'm guiding here right and then you uh, try to answer the questions anyway like uh, if anything went wrong it's okay no problem 
mistake means of course mistake is pretty obvious uh, but again if you are going to repeat the mistake that is called blunder right that is not acceptable but anyway so uh, such kind of questions i'll keep on posting and uh, even i'll keep on uh, you know coming back if i feel that okay these answers are incorrect and all then in that case i'll come back i'll record a session and i'll tell that which one is the correct answer and why it is the correct answer 